y'all, Melissa here with you today and today's project is part one of a two-part series on how to sew this pajama set that I have. So today we're going to be sewing up the top and I have a free pattern for the size 4T in these pajamas and it's in a blog post linked below as, long, as well as instructions for getting that. There's also a link in that post to a pattern in my shop for sizes 18 months to 8 years old that you can buy if you want more sizes than just the one free size. So today we're going to be learning how to do these raglan seams and the cuffs that I've hemmed the sleeves with as well as looking at how to sew this whole top. Alright, here are my supplies for the pajama top. I have a front two sleeves, a back, a neckband, and sleeve cuffs. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to open my back piece up and I want to match the back sleeve seams to the back and make sure I'm doing this right sides together. And then I'm going to stitch these two curved sleeve seams with a stretch stitch. I'm actually going to take this over and do it on my serger. And I want to do the same with those front curved seams. So I'm going to open up the front, match that right sides together. And I'll show you what this looks like when I'm done. While I'm at the machine, I'm also going to stitch my neckband and my sleeve cuffs. Okay, the neckband is right sides together. So I am going to stitch across the short edge. And then the cuffs, I want to fold those with the short edges matching and I want to make sure they're right sides together. So I'm going to stitch that short edge on each of these. Alright y'all, here is what my top looks like once I've sewn those shoulder seams. And I'm going to fold it now and I want to match up the underarm seams, clip that together, and then match up the sleeve and the side seams and I'm going to sew this all in one seam. I'm going to do that on the other side as well. Okay, and I've got my cuff pieces here. I'm going to set those and the neckband aside for a little bit and we'll come back to these. And I'll show you what the shirt looks like once I'm done stitching it. Here is what that shirt looks like once the underarm and side seams are sewn. So the next thing that I'm going to do is um, we're going to need to put the neckband on. And I'm not going to get into the specifics of neckbands because I actually have an entire video on um, how to sew neckbands in. But the basic steps are to fold the neckband wrong sides together, and then mark quarter points on the neckline and the neckband, pin them together, and um, we want to pin them right sides together. This is actually going to go on the inside of my neckband the way it's, or my neckline the way it is laying right now. So you would pin right sides together and then stitch around that neck edge. Again, I have a whole video just about neckband, so I'm going to link to that below. Check that out if you need more help on the neckband. I am also going to add the sleeve cuffs. And I actually want to turn my top right side out for both of these steps. Okay, for the sleeve cuffs, that's how we're going to be finishing these. I'm going to take the cuff. I want to fold it now wrong sides together like this, so that it's actually right side out on the outside and the inside. Both of those are the right side of the fabric. And then what I want to do is I want to point all my raw edges the same direction and I want to place this cuff around the sleeve and I want to match up those seam lines. Okay, you'll notice that the cuff is smaller around than the sleeve. That's because it's going to be gathering the sleeve onto your wrist. So I'm going to go stitch this and as I stitch I want to stretch this, the cuff just until it lies flat against the sleeve. And then when I let go of that, that will um, recover and it will gather that sleeve edge in. So I'm going to go show, um, show you how I do that on the machine. 
um, because it's a little easier if you put the presser foot inside and that's easier when you see it done. To sew on the cuffs, what I like to do, first of all, make sure you've got all three raw edges lined up. So you're sewing, should be sewing through three layers, whether you're doing this on a serger like I am or a sewing machine. You're also using a stretch stitch and then I find it's easier to put the presser foot inside the circle that you're sewing. Then you want to stretch the fabric, the cuff fabric, so that it lines up with the sleeve fabric with no wrinkles. And there we go, there is the cuff of the sleeve sewn on, and I'll trim those threads. Okay y'all, here is what the shirt looks like once we've sewn in the neckband and we've sewn those cuffs onto the ends of the sleeves. The final step is just to fold the hem up to the wrong side and then sew that hem with a stretch stitch and then you're done.